Look, look what I got in the mail today. Space Kraken. Uh, now this is the demo copy. Uh, um, I was really interested uh, in uh, this Kickstarter project. Um, the reason that I got this demo copy is because I um, somehow ended up in uh, being the guy responsible for the uh, final rule book um, section. Um, it all started, I think, in this summer um, when a guy I met uh, via the internet uh, um, also wanted to proofread Zerivia. Uh, that's from our last videos, and uh, he opted also to uh, <coughs> get make 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 the introduction little bit better than uh, it was. Uh, so after doing several iterations of the uh, introduction, we g we all got a t-shirt <laughs> uh, as a way of thanks, um, and I'm very happy for for that. And the rule books, um, well, the rule book was. Uh, pretty tough to do, and this is uh, one of my most uh, complicated uh, rule book pr proofreading <laughs> experiments uh, up, to up to date. I mean, uh, I spent, I think, at least 14 days to change the mess of what the review uh, rule book was uh, into something actually uh, playable. Um, I had to work with uh, an artist, and I always have a problem problem with artists because you have to be very precise um, for making a rule book. And this guy is um, has technical background, and um, but he also has a very str strong opinions. So I, I have a really tough time to convey uh, what should be uh, in what manner changed. Uh, well, as you know, I can be very persistent and very thorough. Um, but I'll... Uh, so I'll, I'll need to make, th I think, to uh, give this some structure. Um, uh, I'm going to... Um, to explain uh, the demo version uh, and in a new video I'm going to explain the changes uh, the the thing that you'll actually get and I haven't played this game yet and <laughs> it was pretty tough to imagine how it would be played um, so this will be a blind playthrough as well and also uh, when I encounter something, uh, I will make a note for myself, um, things that should be changed. Now, the primary premise of this is uh, a demo copy is less of quality than um, the final product. I'm going to test this assumption and um, yeah, so I needed this book uh, to uh, to gain some insight in the tone of voice, uh, that's very important. Uh, if you want to make the rules kind of science fiction like, uh, this series will be <laughs> of no interest to you if you don't like animated movies, uh, especially you dislike uh, Akira, for example. If you are no not interested in uh, Star Trek kind of uh, episodes, uh, you find them for poor loners with glasses and no girlfriend. Um, it will not be for you if you have the attention span of a goldfish 
and the series won't be for you if you can't handle a uh, critical <laughs> approach. So, uh, with that out of the way, let's see what the book entails. Um, it's I'm going to make this a little bit higher perspective because this is a game, adventure game. Um, it's a science fiction dungeon crawler. Um, well, <laughs> it's not exactly a dungeon crawler, um, but it does uh, give the uh, uh, it does give away that uh, you are supposed to be rolling dice. Um, because a dungeon crawler uh, with no actual maps, uh, you generate this. So it's a procedurally generated game of something with a space cracker. Um So let's start. Uh, first of all, the quality. Uh, this is obviously creased and stuff, so it's a uh, it's a uh <laughs> heavily used. Uh, prototype copy, uh, but I got it for free. Um, uh, prototype copy from from Marcus. Um, it's a very smart guy. And first of all, let's have a quick overview. Uh, as I said, this game has no moving parts. It does, doesn't have um, a map. Doesn't have components. Uh, not in the real sense of the word. Um, it does, however, uh, fold out, so I need to make an even higher overview. Um, okay, so, uh, first part is teaser, features, um, play alone in sol solitaire mode or together in an asymmetric co-op VS mode with up to four players. Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely happy with the sentence, but I think it's primarily um, targeted at the market of um, playing this alone and trying to understand it alone and then uh, if you really mastered the game uh, introduce other players so don't start this up with your girlfriend um, or g boyfriend whatever uh, okay prepare the book getting started required the demo version as you can see it's already text heavy so <laughs> if your attention span is now low uh, I understand it okay so um, the intro uh, it's two small parts I'm going to read them uh, later maybe uh, because there are some things in there um, choose your f uh, choose your flight um, I'm not happy with the sentence but it is like making a decision on what um, planet or surface you are going to discover. Uh, choose one of the following options. Early settlers, the nerds, military crew, escaped cri criminals, an ultra rich man. Uh, a ultra rich man, should be a AN. Uh, yeah, of course there are several typos. Um, I'm going to identify them and uh, communicate them to the uh, to the creator. Um, you can gawk at the pictures for now. Uh, the Fury Gang, then about the storylines, set up the lines. Um, the game is an adventure game in the sense that it has like uh, leg Legacy of Dragonhold, uh, some kind of um, state. Um, saving system uh, in in uh, in lot you had uh, this matrix with letters and you ticked it off uh, if you did something or did not do something uh, tangential to this method um, there you have storylines uh, these are the discrete paths uh, with a little bit of flavor text and uh, the some of these paths have a decision, uh, an A-B uh, decision. So, um, are you going to uh, hide or are you going to challenge the, the enemy, so stuff like that. And depending on that A-B choice, uh, you get a next pointer to, to the 
uh, to the next uh, uh, dot in the path. So it's a branching path. <coughs> Sorry. So that's the normal uh, way of an adventure book, like uh, Destiny. Uh, how do you say it? Um, Destiny Quest, um, and yeah, uh, the, the 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 various uh, precursors like uh, Fighting Fantasy. Um, but these don't keep really track of uh, the, the state of the world. Um, so in this game, the demo version. Uh, there are lots of problems with the, this text, but um, it essentially comes down to choose randomly one of these cells, choose randomly one of these cells, choose randomly one of these cells, and choose randomly one of these cells. So uh, essentially the instruction sh should be roll or die. Um, so every time you have a different combination, um, and these are the four storylines. So this already complicates things a bit. Um, you have to keep keep track of the the end point uh, of each of those four um, positions in the branching path. So four branches of a tree, um, simplified. Uh, then. Uh, this is there. There are about ten videos uh, uh, of uh, Space Kraken, and they are all uh, with the um, the demo version uh, in mind, and they show absolutely nothing. <laughs> I found them absolutely useless. So I'm trying to um, I'm planning to do this better. Um, so as you can see, there are four tables here, uh, and there is a C CGM line tracker. Like so. Uh, this will be also in the uh, final version. So you see here line one, two, three, four, and five. Apparently, uh, from the previous, uh, y you might trigger a branch which which says start a new line. Then, uh, there is an interlinked me memory. Um, the interlinked memory is just a, a bunch of uh, cells uh, identified with a letter I until Z. 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 Uh, nah, the last one. <laughs> uh, these number, uh, these what you fill I in here is. I think a number, and it's not a non-negative number. It can be also negative, um, and the decisions that you make will make it, um, will have you make a, a check if k is four, for example, and if you wrote there minus three, then it's less than four, stuff like that. So this this is very simple. It starts all empty and it grows uh, step by step. Star map locations. Um, the game also tra keeps track of the uh, discovered worlds, um, discovered universe or galaxy. Um, it's not very clear yet. Um, the um, so you have locations and you have maps, and this is, I think, the difficulty. Yeah, I think here you identify the map, here you identify the difficulty, the atmosphere outside, atmosphere inside, and these are normal hellish or uh, vacuum, um, because it's, <laughs> it's a space game. Same for this. Um, teleport. So how far your teleport can uh, reach? You don't have a tele teleport in the, uh, initially, but you might find one uh, depending on what you do on the storylines, and depending what you do, what you do inside of a map. Map depth is how many maps there are in each location. Uh, each location has at least one map, um, but there can be more. Um, this will be defined in a table later. Um, the race 
is uh, I think it is um, per map and I also think that I'm not sure yet um, I thought that I see here one two six and four five six are red and not <laughs> I don't have an idea why it four five six is uh, in red but every map can have races or a, a race and of those races you generate um, the monsters and there can be special conditions something like that and <laughs> it's not clear okay uh, let's zoom in with one of these tables because one of the um, doubts i had uh, I still have a lot of the doubts on this game. Uh, primarily, is it is it doable for mortals? But um, <laughs> uh, let's zoom in the map and see what actually will be done. So um, we start here. Let me just a bit. Okay, so let's say for example you uh, you selected one and you for line one and something else for the others. Then you go to uh, line to table one, I think. Uh, let's show this up close. And you, so. The problem here already starts because um, the, here is an N and here is an N and which is the first one? No. Uh, N U is an empty cell. So I guess that the N, the first letter <coughs> of the coordinates, sorry, is uh, N. And you go to U. Okay. Oh, that's M. So, uh, N U. It's an exclamation mark. No, exclamation marks, just like um, Ruins Death Binder, mean an event. Um, and it uh, says D H. So, I guess that you have an event. <coughs> now, the events are numbered A0 to uh, A9 to AA to AB, AL, AM, AX, B. Oh shit, I forgot the letter. It's uh, DH, okay. So, no. D, 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 DH, okay. And then you read this stuff, and there is an event. Um, your ship leaves the hyperspace and what you see is a chaotic zone in space with multiple star systems, nebulas and even a black hole is present and a dark matter vortex. <coughs> you wonder how the scientists from Earth will react, should be scientists, uh, will react if they see your records and the first proof of their theory about the creation of dark matter and why they were not discovered in space until today. It is so amazing to be here and see it. No. Uh, so where's the event? Uh, is it an event? Well, uh, let's see. What are these symbols? So no symbol means a pointer. Uh, so um, you just stop and continue the path on the late of the line later again. Uh, so it's a stopping point. Uh, yeah, but we didn't have a stopping point. Then the bigger than, smaller than, and equals. It's a compare. And it's like an if then else. Uh, if it's a letter instead of a number, you have to use the variable of the line. With the corresponding letter of its uh, I and beyond, you have to use the variable saved inside the interlinked memory for comparison. 
I have no idea what this means. Um, okay. Plus minus. No. Uh, here's an event. It was like this. And marks an event. Event is a text you must read with various effects. Letter and number defines which event is triggered. Attention, only read the named event, then follow in the next pointer as usual. Or in case of a decision, you may also choose over the next pointer. So you should be following the next pointer, but what is the next pointer? Uh, and you, the H, should be 1LQ. So let's see if that works. I'm just guessing. Oh, it's gone. There's no L. Okay, I think that is because of the um, demo version. Um, we will never know <laughs> uh, until we get the the, the full copy. Uh, but it does give some um, ideas how to make this a little bit better. Um, at first, these coordinates. Um, one should be lowercase and one should be uh, uppercase, and the lowercase should be before the uppercase. So if you go, for example, to uh, 4L, um, uh, 4LO, um, then there should be big L, small O. Uh, it should be more, say, less of a less of a choice, less of a doubt. Okay, now, uh, so you. You jump through these uh, story points. Uh, I can do this later in more detail. Um, okay, we had the uh, CGM commands. As this is the cryptic game master. Uh, it's the system with the pointers. Um, nothing special there. Um, location generator. This is a very important page <laughs> because uh, whatever you do, uh, you create uh, the the world that you find uh, based on this. And there are also many problems on this page, but it is workable uh, if you go with the flow. So uh, first, your old type uh, that is one d six. So for example, you um, you end up in a mining station. And then you roll for atmosphere outside, also a d6. Um, the, so you say it's, it's a 5. So it's a mining station uh, with a hellish condition in the inside. Uh, sorry, outside. Um, so the mining station uh, I'm next to a supernova or something. Um, at AO should be atmosphere inside AI. Um, because the I is <laughs> okay. Never mind this. Uh, so say for example a uh, uh, three, and so the, in the atmosphere inside is none. <coughs> Doesn't have uh, an atmosphere inside. And probably the mining station had a whole hull breach, <coughs> which doesn't explain uh, why it shouldn't be uh, hell hellish conditions inside as well. Maybe this needs some refinement. Um, okay, depth. Uh, depth was what you found on the left part of the page. Um, so this is this is this is uh, page 17 belongs to this, and star map location should also reference the page number. Um, so you have this. Difficulty, AO, AI, teleport, and depth. So uh, these orders should be um, changed because this is this is the order. Uh, depth, teleport range, teleport range, depth. Why? <laughs> uh, it's a bit sloppy. Okay. Uh, teleport range two d6s and depth is uh, d6 plus three. So this is one, two, uh, nine. And this is uh, 0 to 10. Um, and highly unlikely 10. And it's the maximum. A result of 10 and above can be noted as 9. 
there is no end above. <laughs> so uh, remove that. But um, okay, say you have a depth of uh, six, then here you know the depth. Okay, so this is probably um, the identifier uh, of the map. Uh, so it's a uh, map one, map two, map three. But if you write with a pencil like this, um, uh, you can you can write here. Uh, I don't know um, surface um, map five or so or something, <coughs> and then it should be a surface the uh, ID six. But this is too dark. You <laughs> you can't make out of the, uh, this with a normal pencil. So this should be lighter, uh, just because you want to write notes. Uh, it's a very big game, uh, as far as I can see. Okay, then there is the map number. Um, I'm going to zoom in again. Sorry about the crappy equipment, but uh, it will have to make do. So. As you can see here, there is one to six, one to six, and there is a to uh, S D T, and there is a to p. <coughs> so it's um, um, more probable to have an, uh, say an a, um, twice as probable than it is to have a t. Um, so the the the, the later. Uh, the later 17 and 20 pay, uh, maps will be less likely. No. We'll go to that in a moment. Uh, I think this is just uh, this is the part of the monsters. Um, let's zoom up. A combat quick sheet. Uh, should be a combat. But sheets normally, um, it's not really quick. Uh, this is what hap the steps you have to do uh, in in terms of combat: spawn enemies, uh, initiative. So I think that's uh, a one one time thing only. Combat actions. I think that is round per round. Combat rules. Uh, that's uh, for every round. Enemy attack priority and weakness and immunity. This should be reordered. Uh, it's not intuitive, and it's also far too much text. Okay, uh, monsters look like this, and you use scissors, uh, and you fold in what is not there. Um, one question I had: I think we should forever keep this zoomed out. Um, one question I had was: uh, say you have you roll uh, randomly the monster. Uh, say you roll, uh, you have this monster, and you also 